In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Christ is in our midst. The light shone in the darkness, and the darkness could not overcome it. We find these words in the poetic introduction to St. John's Gospel, describing the insurmountable love of God for humanity. Outside of God, there is only darkness, and his presence illumines everything. In the days of Herod the king, there was darkness over all the world. The Roman Empire was oppressing Judea. There was disease, death, and scarcity, both in goods and in hope. There was darkness, but Jesus Christ, the light of light, the true God of true God, came down from heaven and became incarnate of the Virgin Mary and the Holy Spirit in a dark world. He was a born a small and helpless child. Christ the King came into this world at a very dark time, a time perhaps when the light was forgotten. It is out of the darkest of nights that Christ comes to offer light and life and love. Christ was born into a family with nothing, shamed and cast out of their society at the absurdity of a virgin pregnancy, born in the midst of unclean animals, placed in a food trough, and above and on top of all of that, hunted by an insecure tyrant who felt threatened by the birth of a child prophesied as the Messiah, the King of Israel. The darkness of our lives feels very imminent and oppressive. This has been a very dark year. We have been surrounded by disease, by death, and scarcity, both in goods and in hope. Our world is certainly a different world than the one that Christ was born into, but darkness is the same darkness everywhere. And at a time when our darkness feels so great, we receive the greatest gift of all, light. We have candles in our hands tonight. They focus our attention only on the light so that we can ignore the darkness. Try as it might, the darkness cannot overcome the light. It cannot overcome the light. We are gathered here tonight in this dark church. Surely this calls to mind the time when we usually do this, in April, the night of the resurrection. And we must understand that the incarnation of Christ, the celebration of God taking on human flesh, is tied to the resurrection of Christ. His resurrection from the dead and his victory over death is the reason for this season of Christmas. He's born here in a dark cave and he was laid to rest in death in a different dark cave. He's wrapped here in linen as a newborn child and he's wrapped in a linen shroud in the tomb. Here, He is placed in the care of a man named Joseph to protect him. And there, his holy body is cared for in death by another Joseph. Christ's light comes into the world at the darkest of times. He was born in the darkness of oppression and in a dark cave. And he emerged from the darkness of the empty tomb to give life to all. And now... Christ comes to the manger of each of our souls that may be wrapped in darkness. In the darkness of 2020, the darkness of our minds, the darkness of our heart, the darkness of our strength, and Christ brings us his light. He reminds us that he is our great hope. The peace which surpasses all understanding is found in him. And he is the light that shines and cannot be overcome by the darkness. These are the tidings of great joy 
that we sing about, the great joy. We've been called by Christ out of darkness, out of darkness and into his marvelous light to worship him like the shepherds, to offer him our love like the wise men, and to glorify him like the angels. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.